Hi, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're gonna to take a walk around the Lamar CEO 7. This is a seven by 16 foot, also offered in an 18 and a 20 foot, in a wood deck or a steel deck. So again, this is the seven by 16 model. It's a 7,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. So I guess it's gonna weigh in at about 1,750 pounds, giving a net legal payload of about 5,250 plus your tongue weight. Tongue weight's gonna max out at close to a thousand pounds of additional payload. So let's take a walk around the trailer. Everything you see here, for us anyway, would be a standard feature. There are a few, technically speaking, options on this to make it Pennsylvania legal. Some of those would be two axle brakes, and then we also add a two foot dovetail. This particular trailer would be what we would call our mid-grade line trailer or our mid-price point trailer. We currently have an AMO, which is a little cheaper, and a short track, which is a little more expensive. This does happen to be our most common as it's a very good value. So let's start out up front. It's got a two inch stamp ball coupler. It's got a setback jack. We like the setback jack for a few reasons. One of which would be it be out of your way for your truck pickup gate, save you from potentially dinging the gate up. Notice they put the sand foot down on the bottom. They also use a sealed wiring harness. Not only is it sealed, but the blue would also signify that it's cold weather rated, meaning it's an arctic cord, stays pliable and flexible down to about negative 60 degrees. The front headache rack, instead of being angle irons made out of uh, pipe, notice they do the three quarter inch bullet LED lights and then they also have the pin striping. Lamar does a three year structural warranty. They do a five inch channel mainframe. So at this price point in the industry, a lot of times you're gonna see maybe a four inch channel or occasionally a four inch angle. This is a five inch channel. You also notice the tongue on these is a full wrap tongue, meaning it wraps the whole way back to the spring hanger, which takes me back to the fender. You'll notice that bolt there makes this a removable fender. So if you want to, you can use that for a few things. One, if you damage the fender, it's easy to replace. Also would allow you to load a lower profile car. It's got brakes on both axles. They've got radial tires, 20575 R15, load range C. It's got the Dexter Ford adjusting brakes, and it's also got the Easy Loop hubs. Easy Loop hubs make it simple for an average homeowner to be able to service your own bearings. Again, we option in the two foot dovetail. They used to be a wood dovetail, now they make them out of steel. Steel's nice if you get something that uh, is dragging on, it'll slide up the dovetail a little bit better for you. They also do a five foot rear pullout ramp, not a side pullout ramp. Generally, your cheaper trailers will often have the side pullouts. So this is not only a five foot ramp, but it's also a rear pullout. A couple other things that we find Lamar does a little different than some. One, you've got full adjustability of the ramp all the way across the back of the trailer. You're also not required to have a stop turn tail, or I'm sorry, not required to have a marker light at the outside, just the stop turn tail. They take and put some extra lights on the back. Again, they're using the new bullet LEDs. Another thing we find a little bit different on Lamar's would be the gusset on the beaver tail looked around the industry and a lot of trailers don't put a gusset even on a 10 and oftentimes a 14k trailer they take and do it even on a 7,000 pound trailer like this is going to net you about a 12 to 13 degree load angle it's enough that you can load most cars <coughs> if you do have a low profile car we offer steel decks with an extended beaver tail for a lower load angle so folks that's pretty much it Lamar does do, I should mention, powder coating on their paint, as do most of your larger manufacturers. This is offered in a 7,000 pound GVW, 16, 18, and 20 foot, 18 foot being the most common. Generally, we like to see about two foot longer than, two to three foot longer than the average car if you're hauling a car on it. So, you know, we do stock these in all three of those sizes. If you have any questions on this trailer, again, it's a CEO 7 Give us a ring at 717-220-4220 uh, or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.